anyway, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to find the minimum of a quadratic function using the TI-84 graphing calculator. So what we want to do is we're going to take our calculator and we're going to enter this into the y equals screen. So we're just going to type in the 2x squared plus 8x minus 3. So if you want to grab your calculator and follow along, that would probably work the best. Um, this is just the main home screen of the calculator menu. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit the y equal button. And the y equals is directly underneath your window screen. Um, so we hit y equals, and this is where you put all of your equations to graph. I have the color addition calculator, so it does have color choices. I'm just going to use the first one. So what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to type in our equation. So we're going to use 2, and this is the x button that you want to use, the x comma t comma theta comma n button next to alpha next to alpha, you do not want to use the green X. The green X is whatever value you stored for X. So whoever used the calculator last and stored a value for X, that's what your calculator is going to see. So we want to hit the X button, comma, T, comma, theta, comma, N, squared, plus 8, and again we're going to use the X, minus 3. So we have our graph entered in or our equation entered in, and we're going to hit graph. Okay, when we graph, we can see that the lowest point actually is off of our screen. So if this happens, what you want to do is go to your window. Your window allows you to adjust your graph. And what we want to do is we want to go lower. So that means we want to adjust our Y coordinates. So I'm going to go to the window screen. And I'm going to change my Y minimum to a little bit lower. And if you don't go in low enough, then you can change it. So let's go down to negative 15 and see if that's enough. So I'm going to hit graph again. And now you can see that we can see the entire um, parabola. So in order to find the minimum using our graphing calculator, what we're going to do is we're going to hit second and the trace button. Above it, it says calculate. Um, there's a bunch of calculations that you can do. And you can see that minimum is the choice that, or is one of our choices that we can use. So I'm going to choose option three, minimum. And it's going to ask you for a left bound. Basically what this means is I want something to the left of my turning point. So I'm going to just hit the left arrow over until I get somewhere to the left of my turning point. So um, it doesn't matter where as long as it's to the left, which it's now flashing, and I'm going to hit the enter button. Now it changes to right bound. So now it's looking for a right boundary for our interval. And so I just want to be to the right side of the turning point and hit enter again. And it's saying I'm going to guess somewhere in between these values. This is just a guess. Um, and when you hit enter, you can see that the minimum is at negative 2, negative 11. So um, depending upon how your textbook asks for it, most likely they're going to be looking for um, the minimum point, which is the negative 11. Negative 11 is the lowest point our graph goes to. So we would say that our minimum is at negative 11 when x is negative 2. And so that would be our answer. Um, minimum at 11 when x is negative 2. So hopefully you understand now how to find the minimum of a parabola. Just to recap, remember that you're going to put the equation in your y equals screen. You're going to look at the graph. If you need to adjust the window, you can. The default is always negative 10 to positive 10 on both axes. Um, and then to go back, you would do second and trace. It allows you to find the minimum or the maximum depending upon what you have. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.